look at my room. It's not cozy, it's empty, and today we're gonna fix it. Today we're gonna decorate my room, try to decorate and make it beautiful. Do a huge unpacking of home decor and yarn, crochet it with your funny amigurumi. We will glue for the first time false nails and just have a good time. My name is Kate and don't forget to subscribe to my Wonder Netting channel. Now I'm living in this apartment, this is one of the rooms, which has not very modern furniture. On the wall there is no pictures, chandeliers, nothing. Of course, I would like to live in a bright apartment with milk furniture, you know, like all the insta divas. But I don't have such an opportunity now. I can't throw away this furniture and buy new ones either. And I can't say that I like this furniture, of course not. Most of all, I'm confused by the brown leather sofa and an armchair. So decorate the room should be based on it. Also, there are pins and cords sticking out in the wall, so they also need to be covered with something. I thought a lot about how people decorate their apartments in this style and what kind of style it is. Uh, like a brown sofa and purple sofa? Um, on the other side of the room there is a sideboard, but it doesn't really bother me, it even seems cute. They say the work area where I shoot all my videos, so the background behind me should be nice. Anyway, I went to Pinterest to look for inspiration and found that the best option would be to decorate the room under vintage, hippie style or like grandma style. And this is a lot of paintings or posters on the walls and a lot of greenery. This is the picture I'm going to rely on. Without thinking long, I decided to go to Shane and buy there all the decor I need. And this is the package I received. Let's see what's in it. So the first thing I see are these posters, the usual thick paper, but beautiful pictures even with captions. Still in the kit are stickers which they can be pinned, very convenient. I ordered specifically in this pink and purple style to match the purple sofa. The next is this lamp for ambience, it's called the Sunset Lamp. It comes with battery remote control and it's connected via USB. We'll see how it shines tonight. It's too bad it can't rotate in different directions. The next purchase is manicure set. I bought a file to do Japanese manicure and polish nails. And at the same time I bought glue for false nails with a brush. I'm going to try it out today. The next is these cards. Look how many of them. They are all the same size and in the set there are also stickers. Good quality cardboard and very beautiful pictures. I took them to add a little atmosphere of mystery and mysticism just for vintage style. These are grey Japanese style posters. I also took them because they look vintage, good thick paper. The theme of nature is also here, which is suits us. Next are these artificial bushes, which I'm going to hang on on the wall. We can't go without greenery in our style, so they even have pins on them. Another addition is these butterflies with different sizes and colors. They are on a magnet and if desired they can be attached to the refrigerator or I can attach them to a tripod, but I will use them to complete the decor on the wall. Next is not for decoration, but for myself, I ordered these mesh tights with bows in black and white. Now such a trend, so I decided to try it too. A case for my phone just for fun, I like this bracelet on the back, looks like candy. And the last one is also tight, beige, but they're warm. I got them so I can wear light colored skirts now while it's cold outside. So that's my whole decor, we've unpacked everything and now we need to figure out how to straighten these big posters. I'm gonna start with the greenery and hang it on those wires. But first we need to get all the mess out of the way. I'm 
I'm going to put the posters under the press for a while, hopefully to straighten them out. Write in the comments how you can quickly straighten such paper, maybe someone's starting to be an architect or a designer and there are some tips. Let's get started. To be honest, I can't imagine how this bush would look like on the wall. Maybe I should have steamed it before I hang it up or I don't know. Now I think it's good that there are wires sticking out of the wall because there is something to hook the plant on, otherwise they wouldn't hold up on the bare wall because of the weight. Honestly, it looks ridiculous so far. I'm thinking of using double scotch tape to secure the branches on the sides a bit. As luck would have it, there was another nail under those wires that I secured the second plant to. I think it's funny. Well, hopefully I'll be done with this plant in no time. Actually, cutting the tape and then trying to tear off the other side of the tape is not a quick job, so I'll have to try harder. Okay, I ran into a problem because of the fact that the wall is poorly spackled. And I think no one spackled it before painting, and in some areas there are roughness and the tape doesn't hold well, which means that the branches can sometimes fall off. Overall, it looks very nice, I like it. Now I'm gonna add the butterflies and then we'll go to the posters. I've already had bows hanging here, desperately trying to create coziness here. The butterflies I'm going to put on double tape too. It's hard to hang butterflies in a random order, I think you know what I mean, so I had to regroup them a few times. So this area is ready. By the way, I found a solution with the posters. I just ironed them with an iron at a low temperature and they seem to straighten out. The hardest part is how to hang the posters nicely. I don't know at all, this is my first time I've ever put something on the wall in such quantity. So let's go from bigger to smaller. First let's hang the bigger posters. I also put them on double scotch tape. It's also important to hang them not too crooked. Well, the first one's done, let's hang the second one. I think it will be more interesting to see it all in time-lapse mode. In fact, it's not so difficult to paint them, the main thing is not to afraid to put some pictures on top of each other. Then it will give some impression that you have hung your own notes, that you are a very mysterious, interesting person. So this is what I got, I think I need to add something at the bottom and now I need to get rid of these bows and candies on the TV because now they don't fit the interior. That's how many posters I have left, maybe I'll hang them on the wall, I'll see how it will be better. Remove everything, the garland with the hearts also doesn't fit. So here is my final result and together with the sunset lamp. I decided to add the remaining posters to the wall after all. And I'm waiting for your impression in the comments. This is how the lamp looks, very compact and illuminates beautifully. There are different color modes and I like the yellow one the best. 
Now with this background, I will record vlogs, unboxing and talking videos. Now I can rest and crochet a cute anti-stress toy. I have these crochet kits from High Crochet, a fish, a grey mouse, a totara and a bee. I've already crocheted a totara and a fish and the process I showed in my Instagram reel. It's anti-stress toy with a bubble inside. They are so cute and really anti-stress, with them you can stick for a long time. By the way, here is the second version of this fish, it turns out much larger, as I crocheted it not too tight. And this is my first crocheted toy ever. They can be worn as a keychain, very cute. I also have a complete set with a bee. The kit comes with a card like this, on the back it has the QR codes and links to go to the video tutorial or writing pattern. Also, in the kit you can find a toy filler and a bubble which is inserted into the toy. Yarn in all colors you need, hook, keychain, needle, markers and eyes. And also a glue stick for a hot glue gun to glue the eyes. It's not necessarily to have a hot glue gun, I will show you how to glue the eyes later. First you need to look at the pattern, I like to crochet using writing patterns. Write in the comments which option you like more, video tutorials or writing patterns. I'll go with the picture as my reference point. It's quite a lot of yarn and it's very nice to touch, super soft, micro velvet I guess. And you know, the pattern is beginner friendly, so it's easy enough to follow it. For me, as a beginner in crocheting toys, it's difficult to see the loops where I need to insert the hook because the yarn is fluffy. I generally admire those masters, those creators who crochet such toys and can crochet any character. So many details need to join together, I often don't have the patience for it. While I'm crocheting, there is a noise out of my window, neighbors from somewhere brought a house on wheels, interesting, ok, let's not pick, let's keep crocheting. Interesting. So the body of the bee is almost ready and now we need to put the bubble inside. I left this hole for it. Now my least favorite thing is to attach all the small parts to the body, like these wings. I also don't like hiding all the ends in the small parts, I really, really admire people who make toys. Here is such antennas and paws, and it remains to attach the eyes, but to be honest, they are not very suitable here, but I will find others. Um, why do I get such a funny bee? It's like it dancing. I don't want to attach the arms to the body, I think it could be funnier that way. To glue the eyes without hot gun, I carefully heat glue stick over a candle and then with a needle dot on the place where the eye will be.
and that's the expectation and reality. <laughs> to be honest, I really, really enjoyed crocheting these toys considering that I've never tried it before. This is how to assemble Lego, wondering what you'll end up with, and I got these cute keychain toys. They're super fun with this bubble inside and they're really anti-stress toys. If you also want to try to make one, the link to them will be in the description under the video. There are a lot of cute, beautiful, different toys. Choose your favorite. New day, new yarn delivery. This is such a huge package I ordered from Hobby. There is a lot of new yarn for my spring-summer projects. And I also want to show you the yarn that I have in my projects right now. Let's start with this mohair yarn. I have it in four colors, but I especially like the fuchsia color, shade number 02. I'm crocheting something interesting with it, but I'll show you later when I finish it. Next is this yarn, very nice to touch, upcycled alpaca blend. It's made from excess fibers from production, it's eco-friendly yarn. I'm crocheting a cardigan with it now, tutorial will be a little later on my channel. This yarn is good for sweaters, blankets, maybe hats, scarves, and it has ideal thickness. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. Super soft yarn and the skein is also very big, 100 grams and 200 meters. It's one of the sleeve of my future cardigan. Next are these skeins. I use them to crochet a hardback. I have three more skeins left, so I'm thinking about what I can crochet with them. Maybe top or maybe another bag. Please write me your ideas in the comments. So this yarn I have now in my project and now let's look at the new yarn. Right now I'm feeling like I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, the first thing I came across this cotton yarn in a beautiful pastel yellow shade. It's organic Egyptian cotton and it's perfect for summer and spring projects. I ordered six skeins. Next is twister yarn in a nice shade like a dusty mint color. In its composition it's cotton and acrylic, very nice to touch yarn and it's perfect for summer projects like skirts, maybe dress or tops. And I ordered two skeins of the same yarn in a soft purple color. Since this yarn is for spring and summer projects, it will all be in pleasant lovely shades. So next yarn is exactly the same but called by a different name. It's Friends Whale. This color is soft blue, composition is the same as the twister. I took it to combine with this soft purple color. Next there are these bright skeins of very beautiful yarn and here are just other colors. It calls friends cotton silk and in composition there are cotton and silk. It's very interesting, like twisting two threads together, very good for summer cardigans, top and skirts. And the last yarn is Rainbow Bamboo. It's very nice and a little slippery in feeling, but for summer will be perfect. I ordered a lot because I want to make a set, a skirt and top. So that's it, and of course a cute cherry flavored candy in the shape of a heart. So that's the yarn haul I got. I'm excited to start crocheting my plant projects and all yarn links will be in the description under the video. You can safely take this yarn for all your spring and summer projects because in it, it won't be too hot in summer and the colors are very diverse. By the way, look at my bee and other toys, they cheer up me. Okay, right now I'm going to put everything away and I want to try to glue false nails. 
I remember when I was a kid, my aunt gave me false nails, but I didn't know how to use them. Then I grew up and began to grow my long nails, and for a long time I made myself gel polish, but a year ago I gave up on it and for a year I had short nails. Now I started to miss my long nails, so I decided to try false nails. I bought expensive and cheap ones to equalize these expensive ones. I've already glued and as you can see, the back surface peels off and then remains on the nails. Plus, they're thin and somehow didn't hold up well for me. These are cheaper and here in the set was glue. They hold up better, but with this dot glue on the nail remains a lot of glue. So I decided to buy glue with brush to carefully put it on the nails. I also bought a set with different sizes of nails because mine are quite small and not all sets have the right size for my little finger. And here it fits. In general, if these milky ones will look beautifully on my nails, I will leave them so. But if it will not be very beautiful, I will paint them with nail polish. First I pick out the necessary size and then start gluing. So it looks good, but under the nail can be seen glue and ear bubbles, so I will paint them on top with regular nail polish. And of course, they definitely need to be filled and shaped. This time I decided to paint my nails blue. And finally, I wanted to show you the tights that I ordered. Beige with fleece is the most ordinary and these white mesh tights looks beautiful. I will wear them with light colored dress such as this from Lace Made Corset Dress. And also corset blouse from Lace Made 2. Of course, in winter you can't wear a blouse with short sleeves, but you can replace it with an ordinary white short. And it will be more casual style even with such cute dress. That's the look, very cute, girly I would say. I like the black tights more because I can see the pattern better. I will wear them with this corset skirt, also from Lace Maid. Skirt is very good quality and at the bottom there are protective shorts. And this black shirt I took it from my husband and you can wear a hoodie on your shoulders. And with black high boots will look just chic. <laughs> I love this skirt. So thank you for spending this time with me, write me in the comments how do you like the final result of my room, it became better or not, I will be waiting for your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to my Instagram and I'm off to prepare new projects for you and see you soon, bye kitties!